Former juvenile judge Tracy Hunter getting the news she was hoping for after more than two months in the Justice Center. I personally seen her today and talked to her to let her know her outdate because I wanted her to hear it from me and not by you and everybody else. Sheriff Jim so, Neal said after further was, review of Hunter's ministry work, he determined an earlier release date was appropriate rather than the original date of October 20th. We just gave her credit uh, for the date that she started working as a minister in the jail uh, when uh, we approached her about doing this work. Former Judge well, Norbert Nadel, who initially fence, sentenced Hunter, maintains fair, the sentence you know, was fair about. and says the three-for-one option is something that could have been denied, either by him during the trial or by Judge Patrick Dinkelacker, who imposed the sentence after appeals were exhausted. But I think we both chose not to in, the, in fairness. We, we let the sheriff uh, make that decision. And I think that was a fair thing to do. And I might say all along, uh, Judge Hunter, former Judge Hunter, never took responsibility for the breach of a public trust. Supporters say yeah, their main concern is Hunter's health. Time. I spoke to her. Uh, she's a uh, strong young lady, very strong. Uh, and uh, uh, my, my, my biggest thing, I would prefer when she gets out to go, you know, go see her doctor. And so again, what's next? Uh, I should point out that Hunter is a pastor at a church on the west side of town. No doubt she will be at her service, highly likely she'll be at her service Sunday morning in the pulpit there. A big fundraiser is also planned for next week for Judge Hunter. It had already been planned. Uh, this is to help her with her legal fees. Uh, apparently there's about $30,000 still uh, owed to the courts for the uh, case. Uh, Judge Nadel says that she can also one day uh, apply for her license, her law license, once again. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.